Hi viewers and welcome to the channel and this is a very quick video of getting FreeCAD up and running in a Mac. Now I've been asked this by someone on my channel and Mac is saying it's been from coming from an unknown source and there's some issues with trying to install this on the system because the security kicks in and it's quite easy to resolve. Obviously it's easy if you know how and this video will cover that and that's coming up shortly. If you like this video please hit a like and also subscribe to the channel. I also have a Ko-Fi site where you can actually donate to my contributions to the community and that's at ko-fi.com slash mang0 So we first need to go off to the FreeCAD website and that's freecadweb.org and there you'll find a downloads button and we can decide which image to download so we want the Mac and that's a 64 bit DMG image and that will just download it to your downloads folder and we can go off and find that file if we right click and then open when finished or show in folder so we go and find that folder where it's been downloaded at the moment you can see it's not downloaded fully yet but I've already downloaded this before so I'm going to come down and find the folder or the file where it's been downloaded the DMG file there it is and I'm going to right click on that and open and then this will open up that DMG file within there you'll see a FreeCAD icon once it opens up so it'll open up and there's the FreeCAD icon and we can drag this icon into our applications folder to install it so we'll just click and drag this into the application folder on the finder and you'll see another window that will pop up. Let's just pull this up now. And that's showing that it's been copying the free can to the applications. Now, once this is finished, we can go get rid of that DMG file. We no, now no longer need that. That disk image, we don't need it anymore. So we can just get rid of that. Now, in the applications folder, you'll find a free CAD icon. And that's it in there. And that shows when it was created and modified. Now, if we double click that, what we're going to get, a, get to see is an actual problem. It's an unsigned, unsigned file, so that means it hasn't been signed by the developer, so it's coming from an unknown source. So this will fail when you very first open it. There we go. So there's the message. Cannot, uh, FreeCAD app cannot be open because the identity of the de developer cannot be confirmed. If you just OK that and right click and open, then that will allow us to open it but it will ask us to the same thing again but we'll just press OK when that pops up it may take a little while the first time this sorts itself out but afterwards it will be a lot more quicker so here we go we've got the same message but we've got an open and cancel there so we just hit open with that one and what will happen is that will add FreeCAD to the security settings of the Mac and we'll be able to open that in the future now the first time around it will take a while to open so I'm just going to actually fast forward this video and to tell you tell you it's 45 seconds this took to open on my system the first time and that's on quite a powerful Mac from my workplace you can see it's open there but the next time we open it we won't get any messages at all it opens straight away it's all verified and there and up and working so there you go so that's all working there for you now we can actually run that from the command and shift as well so if we hit command shift and then we've got the spotlight search and we can type in free head in there and that will run it as well and I hope that's helped the user that's asked this question and that's how you get free up and running on a Mac if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to my site. And also I have a Ko-Fi site um, where you can actually donate a few pence or a few pounds, dollars, or whatever your currency is. And that's at ko-fi.com slash M-A-N-G zero. And there you'll be able to help me fund my site and all the money that I actually get from any funds will actually get pushed back into the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing. I'll see you next time.